welcome back to my channel so today i'll be making oxtail and um look at the oxtail i bought this at bravo see the price right here it's 18 dollars and six cents it has a little fat so i'm gonna clean it and i'll be using grace browning and i'm also going to be using my body seasoning i'm also going to be using my pimento seed and some bay leaves and over here i have my garlic powder and my rosemary and I also have my ginger powder. And over here I have my soy sauce. I'm gonna use my soy sauce to season it. And when I season it and I brown it a little bit, then I will, and it's cooking, then I will add my browning. What I'm gonna show you. And then over here, I have my butter bean that I'm gonna be adding when it's almost cooked. And this is my coconut milk for flavor. I'm also going to be using my vinegar to wash in my meat. And over here I have my onion, my scallion, that's my sweet pepper, my garlic, and they have a hot pepper. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you when I season it and I'm going to put it away to marinate for tomorrow and then I'll show you how I cook my oxtail. Welcome back. So, this is the oxtail, and I'm going to use some vinegar, and I'm going to throw the vinegar inside of it. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to throw the vinegar inside of it. And because I am using vinegar today, I, I will not be using any lime. And I use the vinegar so as to take away the rawness from the meat. So, that's the reason for me using the vinegar. And over here I have my cutting board and I'm gonna go ahead it's already they've already trimmed it but I'm gonna go ahead and take off a little more fat just a little more not a lot because I have to leave some fat on it because you know oxtail doesn't have a lot of um, meat so I'm gonna trim it away and when I trim it away I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you See, I take off a little more fat. This is the fat that I took off. Throw it in the bin. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I season my oxtail. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start seasoning my oxtail. See, I cleaned away some of the fats. So, first thing, I'm gonna be start using some of my soy sauce. And I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using a tablespoon or two tablespoons of soy sauce and remember the soy sauce it is not a browning it's just something to give it a little flavor and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my complete seasoning And I don't want it to be too salt and this has a little it has all the seasons inside of it so I don't have to use any salt and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my ginger as desired not too much to overpower the taste just a little bit you don't want to overpower the taste of the oxtail and then you're gonna use just a little bit of rosemary and then I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using my pimento. Let me go ahead and open my pimento. The bag is a little bit hard to open because my nails are very short. I'm gonna put some. Alright, in here I'm gonna put my garlic, my garlic powder. I like to use a lot of garlic. And then I'm gonna be using my seasoning over here so 
But because I use this with the meat, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use, I'm going to wash it off. I'm going to dry it. I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to cut my seasoning. and I'm gonna come back and show you how I seasoned it okay and over here I have all my seasonings which I go ahead and I cut all my seasoning right here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump it inside so I'm gonna season it and I'm gonna put it to marinate overnight I'm gonna put it inside the fridge I cut all my seasoning and I Make sure all my season it is in right now. So now I'm seasoning it. Making sure I get in all the seasoning. And the reason for me um seasoning it overnight so that it could marinate. All the seasons could get inside of the oxtail. So when I come back tomorrow, it will be ready. So guys, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll finish up what I've started. So see you then. Welcome back guys, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to the final process of my oxtail. I've seasoned my oxtail. My oxtail is well soaked and smelling good. So I'm ready. So this is the oil and I'm gonna throw just a little bit of oil over here in the pot. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. The oil is hot. And now, and now I'm gonna take off some of the seasoning. I'm gonna take off some of the seasoning of the oxtail. So now I'm gonna put it in the pot. I'm just gonna let it brown a little bit and sorry for um sorry if you're not seeing my face i have to bring the camera up close so you can see in the pot or close to the pot and looking there these are the seasoning and what my oxtail have been soaking for more than 24 hours This is well seasoned. And this oxtail is going to take at least two hours to make. You have to make sure your oxtail is nice and tender. And all the oxtails, they are out. And this is the seasoning I'm gonna use. When the pot is almost cooked, then I'm gonna put in my seasoning. I'm gonna put a couple of the, because I have added some um, Irish potato to make the gravy a little thick. So I'm gonna put some of it in there when I finish frying it. So I'll soon let the gravy thicken. For so it's gonna be cooked out to help the gravy to be thick. Let's see what's going on over here. I need a little more oil. I didn't want to use a lot of oil since I'm not an oil person. I don't like a lot of meat in my food. And you could see on this side of the oxygen is a little brown. Right here, you see. Also on the side of the oxtail is very brown too. So I'm gonna to turn over the other side of the oxtail, the other side, so it can set a brown color. I just need them to get some color. I just need them to look a little um brown and it's darkish. And I do not want the pot to to um to burn. So. 
gonna go ahead so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some water and as it cook and now it's um, 9 o'clock and my pot will be ready at least 11 so I'm gonna put some water on it the simmer and then I'll come back and show you some of the procedure. So now the oxtail is almost cooked. It's almost two hours. It's two, it's an hour and a half. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the rest of the seasoning. This is the seasoning over here, guys. This is the seasoning. And remember I told you I add some of the seasoning in that way the gravy will be rich. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the rest of the seasoning. Look at it. It's almost done. So now I have my butter bean over here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pop it open, and I'm gonna strain the water. I was wondering if I should take the water off, but no. I'm gonna use the water because it's gonna taste like a next half an hour to finish cooking or less. And I'm gonna add my, my butter beans. And this butter bean, I paid $2.99 and I bought this at um I don't remember where I bought it. But I bought this at a store. I don't remember quite where I bought this. And now I'm gonna go ahead over here this is a secret this is the coconut milk and the reason for me putting the coconut milk last when you add your coconut milk you don't want to add any more water in the coconut milk and when my oxtail was cooking this I used five of these to cook the oxtail because the oxtail, oxtail takes long to cook and you want to make sure your oxtail is tender so while the oxtail was cooking, every time I had this on the stove, I turn it on, make sure the water is hot, and then I transfer it in the pot. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my coconut milk. And it's a clear coconut milk. Because if you add water after you put the coconut milk, it will take away the flavor. And over here, I have some rice over here. I have some white rice and it's, it's almost done and I'm gonna stir the pot guys I'm gonna stir it I'm gonna taste it and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little more seasoning just a little more and then I'm gonna I'm gonna add some more garlic powder I'm gonna add some more garlic powder Garlic is very good. Garlic helps to tenderize the meat. In tenderize meaning make, makes it soft. And now I'm going to add a little more browning so the oxtail can have a little more brownish color. Not, not too much because you don't want to get your pot too bitter. I add like a, a teaspoon. I just use my judgment. And now, and now over here I have this bad boy. I'm not gonna burst it because I do not want the, the um I do not want too much of the 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 flavor, the hot flavor to burn anyone. So I'm gonna just put it in like this, and I'm not gonna stir stir the pepper too much around it because I don't wanna break. It. Then I will come back and show you the finished meat. Back. So the oxtail is ready. It's ready. So now I'm gonna share up the plate. I'm gonna share with the plate over here. And it's late at night now, so I'm just gonna eat a little bit. So I'm just gonna show you a piece of the oxtail. Guys, look. These are the beans over here, right here. See how nice and colorful 
when I tell you this is delicious, when I tell you, I'm not gonna take a lot because it's late. It's late. Take some more gravy and put on my rice. When I tell you guys, this is delicious. This is delicious. I'm gonna bring the camera over here. I'm gonna show you here. So yes, this is it, guys. It's going down. My oxtail, my oxtail. I'm gonna show you how soft it is. Look, it's very soft. Look, when I cut in the oxtail, look, oxtail is cooked, it's coming off the bone. And I'm gonna eat some. Mm, so good. I hope my video was helpful, and I hope you learned something from my video so you could try this recipe at home. And then you could also leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. And always, I love you for watching my videos. And please share me with the world. And don't remember. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the bell. In that way, when I upload my videos, you will all see everything that I have uploaded. Okay? Thank you. And you have a great night now.